Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam. Hello friends and families of Westmount and Pleasant Hill Community Schools. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning into my YouTube channel. You just caught me in the middle of practicing my basketball skills indoors. I'm hoping as it gets nicer out, I can head outside and actually play some basketball on a real court. But as we are stuck at home right now, you kind of have to make do with what you got. And I know it's not easy to get access to different equipment and things like that. So instead, we're going to take what we have lying around our house and we're going to create our own piece of equipment. I want to create a paddle or a racket just similar to a badminton racket or even a pickleball paddle. This racket, like I said, is going to be created with things that are lying around your house. So for me, I decided to grab some cardboard cut out in the shape of a paddle and a wooden spoon from my kitchen. I took these two items and I taped them up as much as I could so I can make it nice and sturdy. And now I have myself a paddle that I can use at home to practice some of my skills. You can use a paper plate and a butter knife from your kitchen or you can use a paper plate and maybe a longer metal spoon so that you can have a longer handle. Whatever it is that you have lying around your house, see if you can't pause the video, go create your own paddle and come back and join me so that you can practice some of these challenges that I'm going to do with you with our hand-eye coordination. So pause the video, go create one of these paddles and come back. Ready? Go. All right. Now that you're back and you have your at-home paddle, I hope you're able to find something around the house and create a paddle similar to this one. We're going to do some challenges that are going to involve a um, paddle that you've created, like we talked about already, and then some sort of ball that you're able to find around your house. Now, I have lots of different things lying around my house here. I got a yellow squishy ball that I bought from the dollar store. I've got another orange plastic ball, but if you aren't able to access any sort of ball similar to the ones that I have here. Maybe you can create your own by crumpling up some paper and taping it into a ball like this one here. Obviously this will be a little bit harder to work with, but it's actually going to make you even better at some of these skills. So now that we have our paddle created and hopefully you found some ball around your house, we can practice some of these challenges of working on hand-eye coordination. The first activity that we're going to do together with our now new homemade paddles is we're going to try and see how long we can keep the ball up by simply bouncing it on our paddles with it nice and flat. Really try and focus on keeping your eyes on that ball and really be gentle as you hit that ball up. You don't need to be whacking it too hard because then the ball is probably going to get away from you. Just nice easy hits. Now I'm going to see how long I can keep this up. You join me and see how long you can keep it up as well. Six and a half hours later. Oh, that was a long time. All right, next challenge we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can hit the ball, switch hands, so pass the paddle to our other hand, and then hit the ball again. I'm going to try and see if I can go back and forth, switching my paddle, from one hand to the other while still keeping the ball up. Like I said before, try and do these challenges with me. Invite your family members to join you as well. And we're gonna try and see if we can switch hands right to left with the ball still in the air. Whoa. So it got away from me a little bit there, but I'm trying to hit the ball a little bit higher in order to give me time to switch hands and get the paddle underneath that ball. So you might want to hit it a little bit higher and when you're switching hands, obviously don't have your hands too far apart, have them nice and close so you can do quick switches from one hand to the other. So to show you again, nice high hit, switch, switch. Try and make sure you do those nice big hits. Control. Ho! Alright, next challenge we're going to do is we're going to try and hit the ball with this part of our paddle, flip the paddle over hit it on the back side and then flip it back and see if we can continue to flip the paddle over again like so and keep the ball up. It's going to look a little bit like this. Always 
make sure that you're practicing with both hands. I know some of us might be better with our right because that's the hand that we write with. But we always want to make sure that we're practicing with our non-dominant hand as well. So my left hand is my non-dominant hand, so I'm going to practice this skill with my left hand as well. A little bit harder, obviously, with my left hand than my right, but it's always good to practice with both hands so that you can get better with each. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and hit the ball with our paddle and then hit the ball with a body part. We're going to do our knees, our feet, our shoulders, our head. We want to try and see if we can hit it off the paddle, hit it with one of our body parts, and then hit it back on the paddle again. So first one we're going to start one with is with our knee. It's a little bit easier. Okay? So we're going to start with our knee where we're going to hit it off the paddle, hit our knee, and then try and bring it back to our paddle again. Knee, over. A little bit challenging, try your best, if you're not able to get it right now, I guarantee if you continue to practice you will eventually be able to get that. We're going to move on to a different body part, we're going to move on to our foot. So what I want to try and do is kick it up with my foot back to my paddle, see if I can kick it back up to my foot again. Oh! Christmas night, the there we go. So we're not only working on our hand-eye coordination, we're working on our coordination with our other body parts, with our legs, with our feet, Okay, now we're going to move on to our shoulder. So we went from knees to feet, now we're going to try our shoulder. Now if you're using a piece of paper, definitely a lot harder. Mr. Mark was to try it with this piece of paper not as successful. Make sure to pause the video whenever you want, practice one skill more than I am, see if you can get better at it before you move on to the next skill. Because I'm kind of going through these fast because I want you to have lots of different challenges that you can work on for yourself, you can show it off to your family members, maybe you can even challenge somebody to see how long they can do it for you. Now, we did our knees, we did our feet, we did our shoulders, now we're gonna do our head. So I'm going to get control of the ball, once I have good control, bounce it up, off my head, back to the paddle again. Off my head, back to the paddle. Let's hope you're using some sort of soft, squishy ball so when it hits your head it doesn't hurt too much. But give that a try, off your head, back to your paddle. Now you could use lots of other body parts that I did not show you just now. So feel free to come up with your own. Practice hitting the ball off of your paddle, then hitting it off of another body part and back to your paddle again. Maybe even your elbow. A little bit harder. Like God, I, I saw switch. you. See if you can't do it. Jump the Utah train. And keep it up with the other hand. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just balance our ball on our paddle. So sometimes. We talk a lot about trying to see if we can bounce this ball up and down. What I want to see right now is if you can balance it on your paddle. And maybe you can move around the space that's available to you to see if you can keep the ball from falling off your paddle while you're walking. Maybe you can do some jumps, keeping that ball in the well. maybe one foot. At some point it is going to drop, but either way, we're really trying to practice seeing where that ball is going to go and figure out how we can adjust to make sure that we keep it on our paddle. Now we're going to work on that balancing while we also toss it in the air. So I want to see if you can throw up the ball 
have the ball come back down to your paddle, balance it, cushion it as it comes, and then keep it balanced for a bit longer and throw it back up again. It'll look a little bit like this. So start with the balance, I'm gonna throw it up, as it comes down, Don't go that way. Continue to do that. Oh, Not trying to balance the ball. Just simply trying to balance. You want to make sure that when you throw that ball up, you are meeting the ball where it is and cushioning it as it comes down. You don't want to hold this paddle nice and stiff because then that's going to just fall off. So as that ball comes down, I'm cushioning it. And I'm moving with the ball. As the ball comes down, I'm coming down. Instead of standing there like this, and as that ball comes down, I'm just gonna keep my paddle straight, and I'm not gonna move it at all. It's probably gonna fall off. And practice it using your you right story. Practice it using your left hand. And disappear. All right. Next challenge I'm going to give you is a hit, 360 turn, and then hit again. So I'm gonna see if I can keep this ball up. I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna go 360, I'm gonna do an entire spin around, and I'm gonna see if I can hit that ball again before it touches the ground. So start by hitting it. Once I feel ready to do my 360, I'm gonna give this a nice hit to the ceiling to give myself time to turn around. Continue to hit again. Again, you're gonna make sure you have good control. As I hit it to the ceiling really hard, I'm gonna come back around and be ready to try and catch that and continue to hit it again. Now you can try with your left hand. If you feel like your right is too easy. 360, find out where that ball is, and catch it again. Like I said, a little bit more challenging than some of the other things we've done so far. But feel free to pause the video and keep working on that as much as you want. Next what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and hit the ball, keep it up. I'm gonna give it one good whack, like I was when I was doing my 360 so that the ball goes up nice and high. I'm gonna give myself time to take my paddle, bring it through my legs and see if I can keep it up through my legs instead of just in front of me like this. So, once I feel ready, I'm gonna give it a nice hit up to the ceiling. Give myself time you to pull my paddle through my legs. Oh! Gotta try and keep that ball close to me so I'm not chasing it around the room, right? There we go. Give it a nice hit. Let's see if you can catch that ball through your legs. Oh! And keep it up. Practice that. See if you can't master it. And like I said, challenge some of your family members to see if they can do it too. All right, last one we're gonna do with our homemade paddles is I want you to see if you can find some wall space. We're actually gonna hit the ball off the wall and then back to our paddle again. And instead of keeping it up like this, we're gonna try and see if we can keep it up against the wall. Corn grows come like rain. They won't stay. They won't stay. Really move around. Too long now. This could be all that way. You can have some fun playing a little bit of um, pickleball with yourself or ping pong against the wall, trying to keep that ball up off the wall and back again. You can always let it maybe drop. And then hit it. Just like you would. Maybe in a game of tennis. Maybe it's not the best way to do that. Maybe you can practice that. Maybe you can even do some backhand, forehand. Turn the, the paddle around. Do some backhands against the wall as well. So lots of challenges there that I want you to work on. Like I said, this is working on our hand-eye coordination, but it's also an activity that can keep you busy in the house and keep you physically active, which is number one right now. I wanna make sure that you guys have things, excuse me, to do at home 
so that you're staying busy, staying active, and trying to get that 60 minutes of physical activity each day. Come up with some of your own tricks. I just showed you a few that I came up with. I know there's a lot more out there. Feel free to send me a video or tell me how you came up with your own trick. Challenge your family members, like I said, see who can keep it up the longest. See who can complete maybe right to left, however many times. Make your paddle unique. Mine looks pretty plain right now, but maybe you want to color up that paddle. Maybe you want to cut it in a certain design. Make it the way that you like it so that you have fun using it. And lastly, I appreciate you joining me and clicking on this video. I hope to come up with some more activities for you in the future. I appreciate you joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. I'm going to continue to use my paddle even after this video is done, and you should too. All right, remember to stay fit and have fun.